everybody. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to Stability. Today we are going to work through some balance basics. Just um, a little general kind of workout that we can use to help improve our mobility, our balance, our strength. It's got a little bit of everything in it, all these elements we need for our balance. So we're going to go ahead, get started. What you're going to need is your chair to hold on to. Um, also, there are parts of this that you could do sitting down if you wanted to, but definitely the chair for balance. And also, if you have um, some sort of box or a book that you can put on the ground for some tap-ups, that would be great. If you don't have that, you can use an ima imaginary tap and bring your foot up like this. It's going to be up to you. So if you have that, go ahead and grab it. I want you to put your chair out of the way or move up to a spot where you're out of the way of the chair. We're going to start with a little Tai Chi style warm up. So I want you to walk your feet out so that they're past your hips. Turn your toes out just a little bit. Okay, so we're going to bend the knees and we're going to look down and make sure that our knees are in the direction of our feet. And then we are going to pull that belly up tight. There's going to be a slight bend in our knees. We're going to start just a little sway back and forth. So we're going to go to the left. Make sure that knee doesn't come out over your toe. Come back to the right. So there's a slight bend in the knee. And we're just weight shifting from left to right. Make any adjustments you need to make. If you want to go wider, you can. If you want to go deeper, you can. But we're just trying to start to get some gentle movement. So we're going to start to add our arms. So what we'll do is take that left arm over to the right. And as we move back to the left, we're going to draw that arm across. Right arm is going to follow. And then right arm is going to lead us back across to the right. Left arm will just drag. So we're not holding our breath. We're kind of using a yoga breath here. Gentle in and out through the nose. Now, you may want to start adding a twist. So as I come back to the left, I'm going to continue around and turn my torso. My knee stays stable over my foot. And then I'll draw back across. As I come over to my right, I'm going to turn that torso. Okay, so you come to the one that is right for you. And you're going to flow with your breath. You don't have to flow with me. I'm just doing some very, very deep breathing. Okay, one more change. We're going to change those arms. So this time we're going to take that left arm and we're going to lift it high up to the sky as we start to move over to the left. Right arm is going to come along the bottom. Reach up, draw this big arc as we come back across. So we haven't straightened our legs at all. So legs should start to be getting very warm especially in those thighs. We don't want any pain in our ankles. Let's just do two more, one to each side. So your eyes are following your hand as you come across. Now, come back to center. Both arms are gonna reach down like you're picking up a big ball. And we're gonna take that ball up and overhead, keep your knees bent, open your arms out to the side. Squat down, bring that belly down just a little, grab your ball, lift it up, knees stay bent, open to the side. Last time, reach down, pick up that big ball, squeeze your belly as you lift it up. We'll bring our arms around and down, straight your legs, walk your feet in. All right, so let's walk our legs out a little bit. What we're going to do is hit a high knee march. So this march is not going to be fast because we're not trying to build our cardio up so much as we are to spend a lot of time on a single leg. So we're going to lift our knee. Our goal is to get our thigh parallel to the floor. But I want you to lift the knee and I want you to stay upright. So stay straight up. Don't crunch down. How high can you bring it and maintain that posture? Slow yourself down. We're shifting back and forth. I move my arms um, to try to mimic what I feel like when I walk. 
and that helps me balance. I have that opposite arm out in front. You can try that. Let's just do a couple more. You could bring hands to hips. Last one. And we'll bring it down. All right. So once again, take in feet out wide. Use your chair at any point in time to either sit and take a break or put it in front of you for balance. You choose what you want to do today. We're going to weight shift side to side. We are going to start with just a toe down and we're going to make this go a little harder to where we lift the leg up. So you're going to choose which one you want to do. I have my toes slightly turned out, so they're not way turned out, but they're not pigeon toed either. Just a little out, got a nice wide base of support. I'm gonna shift to the left, and I'm gonna leave my right toes on the ground. And what I'm doing is taking my center of gravity and moving it. So this is called rock the boat. So it's just a weight shift. Now as you come onto that left foot, feel the ball on the inside, feel the ball on the outside. So let's, as we come to the right, see if we can feel ball of the big toe, ball of the pinky toe. As you come back to the left, now bring your focus to your heel, inner heel, outer heel. Push through the ball of your foot so that you're practicing that proprioception. You're really getting some feedback from the floor. Now I'm going to start to move and see if I can lift my leg up. So when I lift, I'm going to count five, four, three, two, one, slowly move over to the other side, five, four, three, two, one, let's go back, so hands could be at your hips, they could be out for balance, we're going to try to hold, count to six, I'm looking at my clock so we're good, let's go to the other side, Lift the leg, here we go. So don't hold the breath here, you're still breathing. We're halfway there. Okay, there we go. And we'll just shift back, shift back. All right, and start to lock it in. Okay, shake everything out. For this next thing that we're doing, we're gonna go forward and then we're gonna come back. So you could get behind your chair if you needed your chair to go forward and back, or I just want you to look around and make sure that you're not going to run over anything. This activity you can do outside of class for up to 20 to 25 steps. We will not have that in class right now to be able to do. So we're going to try to do five steps and we'll, we'll do it alternating so both legs get the chance to go first. All right, so starting with parallel feet, you are going to stay nice tall posture belly engaged, crown of the head reaching up towards the sky, shoulders relaxed, and we're going to walk on that tightrope forward. We'll stay there, do some reach work, and then we're going to walk backwards, and then we'll switch and do it again. Okay, um, hands on hips is okay. If you want to hold that pole, that balance pole out to the side, you can as well. I'm going to try hands on hips. So starting with the left foot, take your left heel to your right toe. You're going to put that foot down, feel the weight shift to your front leg. Okay, let's move right leg forward. It goes heel. Okay, so feel it shifting to that right leg and coming up off your back foot. We're going to keep coming forward. Take another step for me. And one more. All right, so I have my left foot in front. I hope that's where you're at. If not, it, it won't matter, I promise. So first we're just gonna stand, and I want you to try to push down on the four corners of both the front and the back foot. So that's the inner ball, outer ball, heel and heel. Spread your toes if you need to. That's gonna help with the balance a little. Spread those toes out. You want equal weight on both feet. So you don't want to be back on that back leg. You don't want to be on your front leg. We're just going to reach a little here. So the first thing I want you to do is reach your hands towards me. Try to keep your weight equal on the feet. Reach forward. 
and come back. Can you take the left hand out to the left side? Curving at your torso. Stay balanced in your feet, bring it back. Go the opposite way, right hand's gonna reach out. Bring it back. Okay, so take that left hand, reach up towards the sky, out and back, out and back. And now we'll walk backwards. So hands to the hips are your balance stick. We'll take the foot back and we're gonna walk backwards on that tightrope until you get back to your starting point. So I'm gonna start way back here this time. So I'll go the whole way with you. All right, so this time we're gonna start on our right foot. So right foot will come out, left foot, right foot. So remember on your own, you could do this up to 20 steps. So get your balance. You know what you're looking for now. Follow the big toe, follow the little toe, inner heel, outer heel. Pull up your glutes. Squeeze those legs together, nice and tall in that core. Let's take our arms up overhead. We're gonna reach forward. So stay balanced on those feet as you reach forward. And come up, take it out to the right, and bring it up, out to the left, bring it up, up, and up, hands back. You're going to walk backwards. So take your time. Get those toes to the back of that heel. You're rolling back through the foot. Feel your weight shift. Bring it back. If you fall off, it's okay. Unless you're actually up on a rope, walk back. Walk back. And then we'll come back to starting. All right, shake everything out. Go ahead and take a sip of whatever you brought with you to hydrate, whatever liquid you had. All right, so we're going to grab our chairs to use as a stability tool. Please walk to your chair. Don't be dragging your chair around. And if you don't have a chair, remember a counter, table, whatever. This is just for you to put your hand on for balance. Make sure it's steady and you can't tump it over. So we're gonna do clocks, and we're gonna do a single leg clock. So I have my right hand on my chair, my left hand is gonna move. You could flip flop this if you want. We're gonna do it first, bring in our toe to the ground. So I'm gonna take my left toe, bring it out in front and just touch the toe. So my heel is raised, I'm standing on one foot, I'm gonna take left arm out, to that 12 o'clock um, direction. 12 is directly in front of you. We're gonna take our arm out to three. We're gonna keep eyes forward to start, and then we're gonna see if we can stretch that arm back towards six. So my thoracic spine going a little bit, the top of my back, that's cool. Look forward to me. Bring it back to center, or excuse me, back to three, and then back to 12. Go ahead, drop your arm, give it a roll, and we're gonna do this with the leg lifted. So we're gonna have to engage that core, squeeze our glutes to lift the leg up. So we're gonna come to a high knee in front position, press down through that right foot. Go ahead, take your arm out. So the leg isn't gonna move, we're gonna do the same thing, leg's gonna stay forward. If you wanna take your head with your arm, Look at your thumb as you go. So I'm gonna take it out to three. Twist it around as far as I can go towards six. Come back to three. Back to 12. Now, shift this knee back to flamingo. So take it back. Knees are gonna be level with each other and you've flexed your foot up behind you like a flamingo bird. Okay, lift your chest, 
12 o'clock. Here we go. Take it to three. Take it back. Bring it back to three. And bring it back to 12. Take it down. So we're gonna switch sides. Walk around your chair to the other side. Act like I walked around my chair to the other side. Okay, so now I have left hand on the bar. I'm gonna bring my right toe up onto the ground. So this is your first progression. If the other is difficult, you come back to this tap. If you're in the back and it's difficult, come back to a tap. Okay, so take it out. We're gonna look straight forward for this one. We're gonna come out to nine o'clock now. Stretch it back. It won't go all the way to six probably, that's okay. Bring it back to nine, back to 12. So this time we can take our chest with us and we're gonna follow that thumb. Go ahead, float your leg up. And here we go. We'll take it out, stretch it back. Bring it back to nine. And we'll bring it forward. Okay, so I'm going to swing that leg back, flamingo stance, we'll take it out to 9 o'clock, take it back, come back to 9 o'clock, and back forward we come. Alright, put it down. Go ahead, um, let's just shake our, our feet out. Go ahead, roll your ankles one way. Roll your ankles the other way. And switch. Switch. All right. So before we do some more single um, leg raises, let's go ahead and do some rocks with our feet. I'm gonna turn this sideways so that I'll be able to stand and you'll be able to get a good idea what's happening. So I'm gonna take my feet parallel and then my toes out just a little. I want you to lift your toes up and spread. The weight is from the ball of your foot to your heel. Now go ahead and bring your toes down. Engage your core, lift the toes and down we go. Lift the toes, down we go. Lift, Down. One more time. Lift and down. So now I don't want to pitch too far forward or pitch onto my chair for these. We're going to do some heel raises, but I want you to go straight up and come straight down so that you're not here. And that means if you only come up a little, that's fine. But we're going to lift it up, bring it down, lift it up. Bring it down, lift it up, bring it down, up, and down. We're going to do eight more. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, last one, let's hold. All right, bring it down. Let's go ahead and give them a shake out. That should have warmed up your back body a little. So now we have some leg lifts to do. So we're gonna stand up tall and take the leg behind us. I don't want you to bend your knee and I don't want you to point your toe. So it's gonna look like this. Nice flex foot, we're just gonna take it straight behind. We're gonna do two sets, we're gonna break them up in half, okay? So belly up and in. Let's start with our left leg, we'll take it back. Bring it down. So we're also trying to hold it and count one, 
bring it down so that we're not going too fast. Take it up and hold, bring it down, up hold, there we go. So we have four, three, two, one. Let's change sides, we'll go the other way. So straight leg, flex foot, and lift, and lift, and lift. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. All right, shake it out. So we've got one more set that we're gonna do of those. Take a breath, take a sip of your hydration beverage if you would like, and we'll do the other side. So here we go. We're gonna take it up, bring it down. Take it up and down. Up and down, up. And down. So we have four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Other side will go eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, shake it out. While we're here at our chair, let's do our side kicks. So we're just gonna do one set on each side. So toes are gonna face forward. We're just gonna take it out, bring it in. Out, bring it in. Out, out. We have four, three, two, one. Other side, we'll take it out, 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 out. out. Four, three, two, one. All right, shake it, shake it. So um, one, one more kind of moving exercise. Find that spot again. We're only gonna do a couple of these. I'm gonna start up close. So they're called over the shoulders. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna look over my left shoulder and I'm gonna take four steps back. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Now I'm going to look over my right shoulder and I'm going to take four steps forward. One, two, three, four. Once again, look over the left, go back, two, three, four. Look over your right, one, two, three, four. Take a breath. We're gonna reverse and do the other side. Look over your right shoulder, four steps. These don't have to be big, crazy steps. Look over your left shoulder and come forward. We just wanna make sure that we're practicing both ways. Look over the right, go back. Last one. All right, cool deal. So, um, we're going to do the fun thing, then the terrible thing, and then I'll tell you, uh, I'll tell you a surprise. Okay, so standing here, narrow base of support, um, feet underneath your hips, belly up and in. We're going to take our hands down, open your fingers, and act like there's a wall in front of you, and you are going to climb your fingers 
all the way up the wall as high as you can, which means they don't go over your head, not here. You're going up the wall, okay? Now you're gonna come down. So this is just to work our finger flexibility and a little bit of our shoulders and just some proprioception. You're crawling back down the wall. All right, go ahead, give yourself some wrist circles. Get your chair. We're gonna do some um, up and down, some stands and sits. Our stands and sits, you can have your arms out as you come down for more balance, or you can cross your shoulders. Okay, so we're gonna do, let's do five and then we'll take a break. So we're gonna go down. Now don't have momentum, take a pause and then come back up. Take it down. Don't pop right back up. And up. Take it down. And up. We have two more. Take it down. Last one. Take it down. All right, go ahead. Take your left leg out, draw some circles. One way, draw circles. The opposite way, point and flex your foot and then push your pinky toe towards me, push your big toe towards me, pinky toe towards me, big toe towards me. Other side, lift the leg, stay tall, draw some circles. And reverse, point and flex, and then toe, 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 toe. Shake it all out. All right, knee up to chest, give it a pull, bring it down, other side. Give it a pull. We're gonna walk forward a little and we're gonna stretch out that calf. So extend your leg and pull your toe back towards you. So this is where if you had a towel, if I told you to get a towel, you could have reached over and pulled it. I'm just pressing my toes back towards me. Back so you can see a little. Pressing the toe towards me. I'm gonna switch to the other side. Press toe towards me. Sit up tall. Good, shake everything out. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We don't have much more time, we only have like 30 seconds left before the video cut off on this class. So I'm gonna film another short, short, short video that is going to be um, almost an ad like an advanced getting up, down, off the floor video. But since it's about to run out, I'll explain that in the next one. I'll just put bonus on there. So go ahead, if you want, take a look at that one. And I will see you tomorrow for yoga. Bye.